Hello and welcome to another Official Watchers YouTube video. Today in Jardin du Mayfair, heaven on earth for the watch enthusiasts, we have something incredibly special. You're going to hear me say that a lot. That's because we are the purveyors of the finest watches on the planet. There's few watches that really can stop me from being able to talk. Um, I talk a lot, my, my friends and family would all say that about me. This, I don't even know what to say. It's the Audemars PK Royal Oak Double Balance Wheel Open Worked Rainbow. It is one of the few watches that deserves that big long title. That's how it should be introduced because man, take note to the other watch brands. This is a showstopper. This watch was launched in 2021 as a boutique only edition. It was also released in yellow gold and rose gold. But on this particular reference, my absolute favorite is white gold. And I'm so happy to say that because I've got it here to show you in depth and explain why. Again, we'll be saying this a lot, but I really mean it. This is a rare, rare bird. This is so rare that if you search for it on YouTube, you'll find nothing but crickets. The contrast and the color is what makes it so perfect. The muted kind of white gold aspect with the rainbow, they play off each other better than the yellow and the rose, in my humble opinion. Let us know in the comments if you prefer yellow or rose. Right, before I get too carried away, let's go over the stats. It's 41 millimeters, but it wears closer to 42 due to the angular case and integrated bracelet. It's 10.1 millimeters thick, so a very easy wearer. It's 18 carat frosted white gold case and bracelet. It has 32 cascading gemstones around the bezel, mixing sapphire, emerald, and rubies. The watch also has a 50 meter water resistance, so according to AP, it will survive a dip in the pool or a shower. If you'll remember on my white ceramic perpetual calendar video, I mentioned that that only had a 20 meter. So according to AP, that shouldn't be swam in, and this can be. And I think that that makes um, a major appeal for this piece because it is still a sports piece, even though it's absolutely bonkers, at least you can get it wet. Okay, so the frosted white gold, how does that work? It works using a diamond tipped chisel technique to create an overlaid series of micro indentations that when complete, take on a beautiful glistering finish, very similar to the frost on a winter morning. The technique is known as the Florentine finish and AP collaborated with Carolina Bucci, an Italian jeweler. She's based in Florence, hence the Finnish name. AP started working with Carolina Bucci in 2016 to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Ladies Royal Oak. This is where Frosted Gold was first debuted. This is why I love Audemars Piquet. They wanted to explore new and exciting finishes for the Royal Oak line. Bucci, you really knocked it out the park with this one and she's done such a good job that she is now in regular collaboration with AP. They are using her to create many of the most sought after watches in their lines. Audemars Piquet and Carolina Bucci are a match made in heaven. Due to the human nature of creating this frosted pattern, that means that no two will ever be the same. And as you know, if you've watched my previous videos, that's what really gets me going. If you consider the sheer amount of hours it takes to hand hammer each piece, you can really start to understand the rarity and the price for that matter. Right, let's move on to the bezel. The coolness of the coated white gold really brings out the brighter tones of the multi-baguette cut gemstone bezel. It just works so well. And as much as I hate the done to death watch reviewing phase makes it pop, I can't think of any other words to describe so I'm afraid to say it really makes it pop. 
AP's direct competitor for the Rainbow has to be the similarly gem set Rainbow Daytona, which if you haven't seen it already, was episode one and the launch of our channel, where we actually had two Rainbow Daytonas out. So do go check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. And I'm sorry to Rolex, I'm sorry to say this because you know, you were my first YouTube video, Rolex Rainbow Daytona, and I'll never forget that. But if I was to put them side by side, I think I'd have to go for the AP. It's just all singing, all dancing, crazy piece. Now, you are totally free to disagree with me in the comments, and in some respects, I really hope to just hear your thoughts. Um, so please do let me know, because I can also see how some people would say the Rainbow Daytona is the OG, and I did call it that in the video. So, you know, I'm a sucker for these watches. When I see them, I just think, this is the one for me, and then I see the other one and I love it more, and I think that's what's great about our passionate industry, and uh, I really want to hear what you guys think. Right, the dial, I mean, is it even a dial, or are we just looking at all of the components of the movement? The first thing to note is that unlike the 2019 37 millimeter variant, which in my opinion is too small, that had a silver skeleton dial, this one has been NAC treated, it's an electrolysis treatment that results in the anthracite or slate gray color that we're looking at here. This offers yet more contrast for both the polished and loomed white gold hands, which makes it infinitely more readable at a glance than the untreated parts of the movement, such as the bridge and the balance wheels. So, in a nutshell, thanks a lot AP, because now you can actually see the time on the skeleton. The movement is Audemars in-house caliber 3132. It's a 35 joule automatic skeleton movement which has a second balance wheel and spring that increases mass and inertia to offer more stability and precision. It's a technical way of saying it has much more accurate timekeeping. The power reserve is 45 hours, which means it wouldn't make it all the way through the weekend but if I owned this watch, I wouldn't be taking it off for the weekend. This isn't a party watch, this is an I own the party watch. Celebrities, who's lucky enough to have one? Not many. I was expecting all the usual suspects, but it turns out even they don't have it yet. We've spotted them in the 37 millimeter models, but in this one, so far we only have the absolute legend, it's Karim Benzema. And the other person who's been spotted in it is Dan Bilzerian, who can always be seen topless wearing his 41 millimeter frosted. I can assure you me and Dan would look exactly the same in a pair of Speedos wearing this watch. So what do I think of the Audemars PK? I think it's out there. I think it's wild. I think you'd have to be mad to buy it. I think that is the perfect reason that you should buy it. Uh, my favorite part is the frosting. This is interesting and would bring us on actually to the wrist check because I am wearing the 15407 in steel. Um, so I'm wearing a steeled open works. And now that I've seen this, I mean, it's just completely destroyed it. But of course it's blown out of the water. That's a silly thing to say because it's four times the price. So if I'm paying four times the price, of a steel open worked, then I want four times the jaw dropping value. And this does give you that. What does someone have to pay to have the most exclusive AP on their wrist? And the answer is 585,000 pounds. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this YouTube video. I'm having a blast. I hope you are too. I'm really enjoying speaking with you all. Let us know what you think and I will reply to each and every one of you. Thanks for joining us.